Hi, Mrs. Fisk here. I'm here in my basement. It's kind of dark and dreary down here. I'm in my basement in Middle Grove. I kind of wish I was at school today, so I'm gonna pretend like we're at school. And it's a Friday. Favorite day, my favorite day. You've just had recess and you've had lunch. You played outside, you had your favorite lunch, pizza and you've come in, you've got a drink, and you're just sitting down at the tables and you're waiting to see what we're gonna do. We're gonna talk about the artist. His name is James Rizzi. This is a photograph of him. He was born in 1950. He passed away in 2011. He was only 61 years old. He died of heart disease. He's a pretty snappy dresser. He's got a pale pink Oxford on, some kind of crazy looking tie. He's got some shades on and some kind of hat I'm sure he designed and behind him is an example of his type of artwork. He is a pop artist. He likes to use bright bold colors and his, his artwork is kind of animated. He brings it to life. This one is called Visit My Friendly City. And this one has all kinds of buildings that have human characteristics, eyes, noses, mouths. And it's got a great looking background. It's got the sky all color. We've got some alien ships coming in. And the, look at this one. It's the top of the building is kind of like a cat's head. This one, living near the water, is, has a foreground middle ground and a background. Things that are in the foreground are up close. Things that are in the middle ground are in the middle. And things in the background are far away or smaller. If you look at this one, you have two different skies. You have sunny, nice day. We've got night over here and in the middle there's kind of a conflict. Lightning bolts and some thunder or clouds. And it kind of looks like a storm is happening. Again, you've got a crowd of people. But all the buildings look like they've come to life. This one is called Something About the Night. And this one has, again, those animated faces, eyes, noses. It doesn't look like he's added arms and legs to them, but he's added faces. Even the moon has become human-like. And then again, likes these aliens. If you want to add aliens to your masterpiece today, you may. I'm going to go ahead and pause for a minute and I'm going to turn the camera down to my sketch pad so we can learn how to begin this project. I'm back at my easel, or I'm at my tabletop. Uh, these James Rizzi pictures the something about the night, living near the water, and visit my friendly city. They are all posted online, so if you want to go in and uh, blow the image up, uh, enlarge it so you can see the detail in the artwork, you can do that. It will be online for you to look at. Also, I have included as a resource is some of um, a little cheat sheet of one, two, three, how to make some eyes. Make up your own pair. Some one, two, three ears, one, two, three mouths, and one, two, three noses and accessories. These are just to get you thinking, um, just to get you your brain going and get you creating. You're going to go ahead and get a piece of paper. You can hold your paper, uh, I'm holding mine landscape style, or you can hold it portrait style, whatever's good for you. You can use whatever paper you want. I would probably, if I was you, use a pencil. I'm going to use a marker just so that you'll be able to see my sketch. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just start with a line that goes from one edge of the paper to the other side. That's my horizon line. That's where I'm going to build all of my city, my city that comes to life. I'm going to use a lot of rectangles, squares, triangles, trapezoids, all those basic geometric shapes to make my city. I'm not worried if they're perfect. I'm not worried if I mess up. If I mess up, I'll just go ahead and somehow hide it 
and you'll never even know that it was there. I'm putting a few buildings, not drawing the whole rectangle, so it looks like this building's in front of this building and this building's in front of that building. I'm going to take another one and it's coming out behind the rest of those. Maybe I'll go ahead and make this one pointed at the top. Maybe another here. Maybe I'm going to go like this. Sometimes rooftops are slanted in big cities. Add another one. Maybe some more of those rectangles and triangles. Maybe I'm going to use a trapezoid. I'm going to go back and maybe reference one of these sheets with the eyes just to give me a, a starting point. Maybe I'm going to do this one, the first one on the page. It says two dots. I can do that. I'll draw a circle around it, circle around it, a little eyebrow. Maybe I'll reference my noses. Ooh, uh, I'm going to go with this one. Kind of looks like a... Um, Grover's nose from Sesame Place uh, or Sesame Street and give him a mouth. Maybe two teeth. Maybe those teeth are windows. I'm going to give this one, maybe this one is a girl. Her eyes are closed. She has a bow on top of her head. And I'll just give her a little cute nose. And two little puffy lips. Boop, boop. I'm going to go ahead and make some little circles. You can barely see your eyes. And I'm going to go ahead and make a door. Some windows. Maybe another row of windows. So I'm going to give each one of these buildings a face. Maybe I'm going to go ahead and add some cat ears to this one. And go ahead and add a nose. Some whiskers. Window, 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 window. Lots of doors. Maybe this one's going to have some kind of tile on the roof. Maybe it's a glass top. I don't know. And I'm going to back to my, maybe I'll get some inspiration from my mouths. Maybe I'll start with the mouth. Oh, I'm doing this one at the bottom. Kind of looks like a peanut with another peanut inside. And two little U's. There it is. Ah. And what kind of eyes should I do for that one? Oh, these circle, oval, circle, oval, and two eyes. There it is. Um, windows. Not worried about arms and legs, just facial features. Maybe add some stairs. Maybe I want to add something right here in the middle ground. Maybe something here in the foreground. Um, I don't know. Let me, let me, let's look at the sky for a minute. I've got to think about this a little bit more. I do like his idea of having a sky with a nighttime and a daytime. Give my son some sunglasses because he's so bright. Color him in. He's got to have some dark shades to keep his eyes protected. Give my moon. Put some clouds around him. So just take some time. Work on your background. Work on animating your buildings. 
uh, go ahead and add something to the middle ground, to the foreground. I want you to just have fun and make it silly. Make it look like these buildings can talk to you. I'll be back with you later and I will show you a completed artwork. Have fun with James Rizzi. Enjoy his artwork. Enjoy making up faces. It's a lot of fun. Remember, art calms your soul and feeds your spirit. See you next time. Thanks. Bye.